you evaluate, you look at what the reaction is, and you plan again. Marshall Gann's uh, teaching on organizing is called People, Power, and Change. That when people come together, they have the power to make the change. Uh, when I was younger, my mom would always uh, sort of give me more uh, meat or give me more rice or give me more food. And I would say, why don't you have some? And she would always say, always, without fail, uh, if you eat, I'm eating too. And I thought that was the cutest thing on my mom's being a mom. She hasn't done that for a few years. And in retrospect, I realized that's because we didn't have enough to eat. It wasn't a mom being cute. It was a mom feeding her children. The key component is about relationships. It's about finding that story inside us that makes us want to make a difference. He connects with other people that have this similar problem or understand why that needs to change. So from one person to three people and uh, talk about the desire for change. My mom would just sit and worry and be afraid and really desperate, which is hard for a, a young child to understand, uh, that you know I was growing older and so we'd lose out on the Ontario Child Benefit. That was important, it was crucial to her being able to pay the bills and keep us where we were living. They form relationships, they come together and they join together to come up with a strategy on how to tackle the issue. They form a team, a structure, and together they take action. Okay, great call. Name me some tactics. Yeah, what are you going to do? Fast eaters steal the slow eaters' food. <laughs> right, but have the parents write a letter. Whoa, we're getting to here. That is really uh, the core teaching of uh, people, power, and change. Forming this relationship based on what is uh, inside us and what motivate us. What's our passion? To make a difference. Yesterday was the first time I ever told really anybody publicly that I grew up in relative poverty. It was hard for me to accept. I didn't want to own it as part of my identity. And it left scars. It left scars that I, I like to own today and I'm glad to be able to own it today and right now, right here, because my past is my calling. My history is my destiny. I wasn't aware how powerful my voice was until I lost it. I was raised in a very athletic household and I have suffered four concussions. On my fourth one, I was out of school, grade 12, which is really important, for three months. And I had to relearn how to get my thoughts out. I would stutter, I would stammer. I had all of the things in my mind, but I couldn't say them. And it was when that got taken away from me that I realized how powerful my voice is and how powerful everybody else's story was. It's fitting that you went... And since my childhood, there are still people who are suffering with the exact same thing. So I'm so glad that today, with this program, we have the opportunity to actually do something, to really do something, to organize, and say that this is not, it should not be allowed. And I'd like to ask that we start to work on this together, that we start to get a guaranteed annual income onto the political agenda in this country. After my little spiel, I'm going to pass around a clipboard, if you like, you can give me your name, email address, etc. Today we'll be handing out flyers to a bunch of people who are passing by, just promoting our organization. Um, so we're actually hoping that you would be By training as many people. passionate uh, people, uh, especially uh, young people that want to make a difference, by giving them the skills, by helping them build the skills, and be able to express why they want to make a difference. Um. <laughs> what we want to do is to encourage you... If What's so exciting is the team that I worked with, Project Organize, 
There are over 28 of them that are organizers that came together to plan, to map out, to, to design the curriculum to make this Jack Layton Summer Leadership School possible. And what we want to do now is to continue this path, continue this journey, and take this kind of training, this organizer's training, to as many people, as many groups as possible. When we have passionate and skilled organizer, when they are able to express themselves and be able to build the skills for change, we will have a much better city, a much better Canada, and a much better world. So what we're making today is called a banana puree. And here's how it works. So the first thing you do when you want to make a banana puree is you make sure that your bananas are united. Alright? Then we're going to peel. Bananas, peel, peel, bananas. Peel, bananas, peel, peel, bananas. Chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas. Chop, bananas.